tasting, definitely milder, cool smoking cigarettes. Now here he is, Chesterfield's old Glenn Miller. Thank you, Donald, and hello, everybody. It's Moonlight Serenade time again, and tonight our campus spotlight shines on our Steiner's College, Pennsylvania, and Benedictine Military School in Savannah, Georgia. First, while you're lighting up those Chesterfields, Marion, Sex, and the modern air start to serenade in with a military secret. <laughs> everybody how's it going welcome to the studio I give you a little bit of a peek of what we're dealing with in here um, because you usually just see this frame <laughs> so I thought I'd give a little tour um, you saw the uh, 1942 Zenith uh, portable radio with the sailboat grill I know it's kind of dark you might not have seen that detail but anyways um, it's restored a friend of mine Sean Jackson as a radio fanatic and he restored that himself he's only 21 years old brilliant kid gave me that radio um, the first weekend that we hung out so uh, I play it a lot that's a good good piece uh, anyways um, got the victors I got the uh, all four of them glowing tonight uh, so yeah that's that's good I got the 97 98 99 between 99 and uh, 1900 1910 give or take um, both of them uh, and then the, of course, the OK here that we have the 29 GE monitor top refrigerator sitting there. Um, got Chesterfield ads. I thought playing a Glenn Miller Chesterfield broadcast was appropriate since we got a lot of old Chesterfield ads with Russell and Russell and whatnot, wartime uh, stuff. Uh, we got the old knee high clock up there. You probably saw that, and you probably saw that it was late. <laughs> Anyways, it's fun. We're out here just enjoying some old nostalgia. Um, so, a little update on the OK. I spoke with Mr. Bob the Lantern Guy today. We chatted on the internet on Facebook. And he said that he's probably going to be doing a few other lanterns. Uh, they have leaks as well. So he invited me to throw my OK into the mix and get mine fixed while he gets his other two fixed. So I believe one can uh, will do the job and they're not cheap. Uh, I think they're like eighteen, twenty dollars a can. So um, once air hits it, then it—that's the hardener. So you have to use one can to get the most bang for your buck. That makes sense. You don't want to just open a can and use it for one lantern and then throw the rest away. That's a waste. So might as well make it go as far as you can with that price tag. Uh, so next week it might happen. I might meet up with them on a Monday or whatever. So we'll see. So the OK is not a lost cause. It's going to take a little bit of time till it is fired up and enjoyed so until then it'll hang out here and uh, that's fine it's fine uh, I got plenty of other lanterns to enjoy till then no worries but um, anyways I bought some k1 kerosene today at Walmart uh, it was nine dollars for a gallon of kerosene yeah that sounds expensive but you know what that other lamp oil I was buying it was seven dollars for like six quarts or whatever no it was not even six quarts it was six I don't know it was not even it was a couple of quarts but it, uh, whatever um, it wasn't a gallon that's all I know <laughs> so yeah um, but we'll see how that works I mean it's straight up kerosene it's probably gonna be a little more fumy probably smells a little stronger than the uh, other stuff which was much cleaner burning but uh, yeah so we're out here just enjoying a cool night. It was about 90 degrees almost today, so it was warm. Um, it wasn't terrible, but yeah, the night is definitely much more comfortable. It's in the 60s. Um, I guess it will drop probably closer to the 40s by twilight this morning. So, um, but you know, it's it's not that time yet. So, anyways, we're out here just chilling out, having fun. So I hope everybody enjoyed what they saw and uh, we'll do some more videos of items in the garage and the collection and uh, now you got a little bit more of a peek into what my life is like it's some you know, people say oh you're stuck in the past no I'm not stuck there I'm very happy there <laughs> I have a very firm foot in the modern period but I do enjoy a lot of things from the past and they're uh, classy well-made beautiful objects so why not 
right? Okay. Everybody have a great night, and we'll see you soon. God bless.